Okay, so this is um, a rain garden that we built about seven years ago and the idea is that we capture the runoff from the roof at the front of the house and prevent it getting out onto the road and contributing to surface water flooding. A small roof 10 metres by 4 metres generates a thousand litres of runoff for every inch of rain. So by diverting our downpipes into a rain garden, we can help stop the runoff from our roofs, causing surface water flooding or overloading the drains. The first stage of a rain garden is to have the downpipe diverted into a water bot that is connected to a stormwater planter box or a planting bed. You won't need a diverter kit because you don't want the excess to go into the drains when the bot is full. You want it to go to another part of the garden, away from the building, to be absorbed. The planter can be made of anything, but wood is easy and recycled wood could be almost cost free. Next, we need to line the box with heavy duty liner. You can secure the liner by using a staple gum. Next, we place in our drainage pipe that fits the length of the box. Now to fill the box, we add a layer of gravel on the bottom of the box slightly sloping down towards the outlet and rest the horizontal pipe on this and completely cover with gravel till the layer is at least 10 centimetres deep. Next we need to add the filler. It's easiest to mix this in the wheelbarrow in the ratio of four spades of compost, one of topsoil and five spades of sand and you fill the box to 10 centimetres below the top. Where the drainage pipe exits the box, make a channel to lead excess water to the next stage of the rain chain. In this case, a planting bed, or it could be a pond. Now the fun bit. The box needs at least six plants per square meter with native perennial plants to support wildlife and pollinators. The plants need to be species that are tolerant of alternating wet and dry periods and even standing in water if the box or bed regularly pond. They should also be suited to the shade, sunlight conditions of the site. Plants that you should include are some evergreen grasses, sedges or rushes so that the box keeps working well in the winter time. Then you dig the lower planter bed. The size of this bed depends upon the size of the roof, the rest of the garden and the type of soil. Make sure you mark out the bed with string before you start digging because you want it to be level and you want the berm around the edge to hold in the water like a bowl. This will hold back the water during a storm. Compact the berm and mulch or seed with grass. Depending on the type of soil, you can add compost or sand at this stage to make sure it's a good mix and that it drains well. So that's it, the finished rain garden. It's a good idea to check it after each storm and keep on top of weeding and mulching until the garden is fully established. For more information on how to build your rain garden, have a look on the Transition Town Worthy website.